All right, guys. Hello, it's your boy Andrew Jack here. Um, I wanted my second video to be since uh, honestly, Dokkan is kind of we're kind of just waiting for what I download for version. So I figured I would do a top twenty TUR tier list. This is includes easy A's. Um, you can ignore some of the LRs in here as they're kind of just there. I I was too lazy to actually take them out, and uh, we'll jump right into it now. Usually people do top ten. I want to do top 20 because since I'm including easy A's, like the list kind of gets a little bit extended. So I felt top 20 would be better to like describe these units. All right. So we're going to start from the top actually who, uh, okay. So this should be to no one's surprise. I have super Vegeta number one. Um, he has a great link set. His damage is insane with his guaranteed crits. His defense is insane in slot two. You can put him in slot one if you want to. He, His defense is not that bad in slot one. After he takes that first hit, his defense is usually fine in difficult content. And, I mean, this guy's shooting out like like four, five, six million attack stats, and he's guaranteed critting. And especially on his active skill turn. Like, this, this guy's insane. He leads, like, what, either the first or second best team in the game, Pure Sands. Um, like I said, great link set, even if you don't want him in slot one, which I would argue you probably don't because he leads pure sands and pure sands. Honestly, that team is, there are better units in him on pure sands, right? Like you probably don't want to run him on rotation, but even if you wanted him in slot three, he gets defense on super. So he's an amazing slot two or three unit. Um, he stuns in super battle road. Like, yeah, this is Vegeta is just insane. Like he's a new level of power creep, honestly. I think a lot of people are okay with him at number one. And then we have uh, our number two here. Let's see, where is he? Uh, GT Goku. Now, a lot of people are probably, I'm honestly, a lot of people are probably surprised at this, that he's number two, because I, I, I noticed a lot of people have Vegeta above him. Um, I do not think Vegeta is above him at this moment, because... While, yes, Vegeta is better than him defensively outside of GT Heroes, I do not think Vegeta's teams are quite on par with Goku's besides the teams that they share. Like, if we look at Goku, like, Goku's on Kamiamiha, Goku's on Goku Family, and he... I believe those are the only two teams he's on besides, like, Super Saiyans and GT Heroes and stuff that he shares with Vegeta. And Vegeta's, like, teams that he has, which is worthy rivals in Vegeta family, they're just, they're not as good as, like, Goku family and Kamehameha. Like, they're just flat out not. And this guy being an orb changer on Kamehameha means he's buffing units like the Blue Boys, who, on they're in dire need of orbs. Like, a rainbow orb changer of this level. So, I do think this Goku's a little bit better. And, obviously, this Goku, like, he hits, like, twice Vegeta's damage or something like that. All right, uh, number three is probably going to piss quite a lot of people off. I have Videl at number three. Um, the issue with her is right now is just her length, her pretty wonky. She's not on that many teams. But I will say, when it comes to doing difficult content with Videl, it's actually very easy to make her work. She has a partner on all of her teams. Um, I was using her in the God of when she came out on Global. She has a partner for every typing. On all of her teams she has a partner that's tech she has a partner that's int she has one that's agl she has one that's str uh she also has a physical partner which is tn so videl can actually just be taken into any of the god stages no matter the typing and she'll always have a partner i have seen her own team take her like type this event it's like belmont and stuff like that and like she just claps the event like, Videl, honestly, like, she, I know she's not on a lot of teams, but the teams that she are on, they are fairly good. Like, Earthlings is not really that bad of a team. Her only Peppy Gals is obviously, it's gotten a massive buff with, like, five easy A's. That team's actually pretty good. Defenders of Justice has gotten buffed with LR Great Salmon, easy A. Um, and then Modern Blue Saga, I mean, that team is, like, a top five team in the game right now. So, I do feel comfortable in placing her as number three. And then at four, we have the man himself. Where is he? 
GT Vegeta. Um, as I said before, I think Goku is definitely better in GT Vegeta because the two teams that Vegeta isn't on are just better than Vegeta's team, like Vegeta family and stuff like that. But this Vegeta is a massive buff to Vegeta family and worthy rivals. Like, he's still good. Like he has better defense than Goku outside of the GT Hero game. Which is massively good. Like you can take him like type neutral and type disadvantage until the god of it. And his Vegeta performs fine. His damage is it's wow, his damage is like these first three, they do like way more damage than Vegeta. His Vegeta Vegeta's damage is not bad. Like don't don't get it twisted. His damage is fine. Uh defensively he's a god. He's probably like the second or first best defensive unit out of these four. Uh, first probably being Videl. Um, yeah, this Vegeta, he's still sick. Like, his utility in making rainbow orbs, he, again, he's massively buffing Vegeta family and Ori rivals. And I just have him right here because I don't think he's quite as valuable as Goku is. But that's just my opinion. Alright. So, for number five, we have... Let's see. People probably aren't gonna like this, but I have physical cooler at five. Um, the thing about cooler is he, uh, cooler EZA is pretty like basic. He didn't really get that much from his EZA, but he didn't need much from his EZA. Like before his EZA, this guy is still like good. Like he's runnable before his EZA. He's rocking like 160k defense doing three mil attack sets. Like on you global players. You can run him in game right now, link level 10 him, and this guy's shooting out like 3 mil attack sets and at 160k defense. Uh, post EZA, this guy's easily turn 1 200k defense, no problem. Doing like 4 million attack stats with a chance of triple super. He's building up every attack he does. Like this, this cooler is insane. And, and it works really well because his teams are filled to the brim with support. It looks like Garlic Jr. Uh, the man himself, SDR Cooler, who's right here. Um, Bojack. Like, there's so many units that work well with this Cooler that are all supports. So that really brings out the full potential of this guy. Uh, that's probably why I'm so high on him. And then for number six, we have... I have Int Broly. A lot of people don't really talk about Int Broly. Which is unfortunate because it Broly is like <laughs> if you're fighting up here or hybrid sands, like this guy is just insane. He's he has the chance to do four supers. He has like the physical Vegito blue effect. Um he stacks on every super. This guy has even at fifty five percent, he has a thirty six percent chance to crit. He that's 36% damage reduction while also again stacking defense like this guy is actually a monster especially in long events he is helped out a lot by Vegeta because now that we have an actual pure sans lead this guy has like I don't know like he shares like five out of seven links with almost like every pure sand in the game right because he has that sand lineage sand warrior where he's prepare for battle fierce battle link set yeah this this guy is, I think he's heavily underrated. I don't know why people don't talk about him that much. He's a lot better than people think. And then for number seven, we have these guys. Um, the Brats, same same deal. I think they're a lot better than people think. Um, one thing that throws a lot of people off is their 130 defense to Kamehameha. But um, even with that, these guys are like like 55%. They're shooting out like 5 mil attack sets for free with like barely any support. Um, That's due to the fact that they have all these links that give them attack, like Innocence and Buddy Warrior and stuff like that. Like they're getting like 80% attack from links or something like that. And um, if you run a team of Golten and Trunks, which is not hard because of these, uh, these three actually right here. It's not hard at all because these two are insane. I'll talk about them later, but these two are insane and she's also a support um, But if you run like a team with them on it with the Goten and Trunks, they get a three uh, a Guaranteed dodge on the third turn and I mean Their defense is already fine 
after they super, but like they're they get guaranteed dodge their turn. Like they're untouchable. And then even after that, they get a medium chance to dodge after they finish. Um, I believe if I believe it is ten percent per dodge. So if they dodge three times, the max it, it caps out at thirty percent. So there's basically a medium chance to dodge. Like this unit is. Again, he's another. This is brats are another unit that people don't really talk about that much, but they they are like so insane. And then at number eight we have where is he? The man himself. Uh, Super Saiyan Four Goku. Um, there's not much to say about Super Saiyan Four Goku. He's kind of a caveman unit, honestly. Uh, he hits very hard, unsupported, and he has good defense. That's <laughs> that's all there is to really say. This guy, unsupported, is shooting out 6 million attack stats. Like, no joke. He's doing like 6.1 million attack stats when out support. And his defense for that first turn is not really that great. He's at like 120k, 130. But after that first turn, this guy's rocking like nearly 200k defense. And, um... His super attack effect, he stack, he raises defense for 30% for six turns. So he can keep stacking that. Like, by the time this Goku has gotten, like, two rotations in, he's at, like, 250k defense. Which is very, very good for the level of damage he's dishing out. With literally zero support. And then we have our boy Vegeta at number nine. Um, Same thing as Goku. Vegeta's literally just Goku, but slightly worse in like every way <laughs> uh his damage is a little bit lower uh his defense is also a little bit lower but it's, it's pretty much the same concept like these guys both as a rotation together it's nuts like they're doing insane damage without support good defensively oh by the way they both have a 30 percent chance to counter supers keep that in mind that is not something you can just ignore because that also does pretty good damage and then at number 10 we have Huh, number 10 is actually a little bit tricky. At number 10, we have our boy Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Um, ironically, he's the same principle as the other Super Saiyan 4s. He's kind of just a caveman unit. Um, he does good damage. He does like 4 mil unsupported. And he's super effective against all types. So that's a lot more than just 4 mil. And he has a good defense. This guy post super is rocking like 200k defense with, without struggle. Like it's free. He has a great link set. He never struggles for key. You will always see him auto super no matter what. The only flaw on this unit is really that you can't really, he's not really that reliable in long events. Uh, part of his passive wears out after I believe it's eight turns. But other than that, this unit is like, uh, there's not much to say about him. He's just good. Like, you can look at him on paper and tell he's just good. Uh, not even mention his active skill, which is a debuff and a 40% attack and defense increase. Uh, very great for super battles. He also has, he like the other Super Saiyan Force, he has a 50% chance to counter supers, which is very, that's massive. And then at number 11, we have our boy, Int UI Goku. Now, some people like Int UI Goku a little bit better than the Super Saiyan Force. I disagree, only because his base form is not that impressive. When it, 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 like, when people think of Int UI Goku, they think of this guy under 50% HP, transform, turn one, dodging. He's doing like 5 mil attack stats. After that first turn, he still has a great chance to dodge. He's stacking defense, stuff like that. Um, honestly, if Int UI was transformed turn one, he'd probably be a little bit higher on this list. But um, his base form is just... His, he's fine in his base form. Like, he's okay defensively. He still does, like, what, 3 mil, 4 mil. Something around there. Um, Yeah, he still stacks defense in base form, so he's fine. It's just he's not on the level of all these other people until he transforms. It's only real negative about him. And then at number 12, we have our boy Angel Golden Frieza. Now, Angel Golden Frieza, honestly... A lot of people don't really talk about Angel Golden Freeze that much either. Um, they probably should. This unit is still good. He has great utility. And he's good everywhere. He stacks defense. This guy stuns. He has a medium chance to dodge. 
he you can use his active skill turn one, which is still the best active skill in the game by far. Um, he does good damage. Like this guy does everything, and his de I think his I think a lot of people underrate his defense. Um, when he's transformed, because when you're under, I believe it's fifty eight percent HP, he has fifty percent damage reduction. On top of if you've already stacked with him a couple of times in base. Like the, the that golden freeze is actually untouchable by like almost anything in the game. Like he has great again, he has great utility. He also debuffs. Like he just does everything. Um, let's see. And then for number thirteen, uh, I will put. Let's see. I'm actually gonna put this guy number thirteen. Um, this guy, he's pretty good. He has a high chance to make rainbow orbs. I mean, he's over a hundred and twenty, uh, not a hundred. He's over 200 K defense. Oh, super. He does pretty good attack stats. He does like four mil consistently and he's super effective by the way. So very similar damage to Ant Gogeta, uh, a little bit worse defensively than Ant Gogeta, I would say, but Again, he still has that chance to make Rainbow Orbs, which is, like, super valuable on some of his teams he's on, like Resurrected Warriors, Super Saiyan 3, stuff like that. And then for number 14, we have our boy, Kid Gohan. Now, a lot of people are probably going to scoff at the fact that I have him so low. Personally, I'm not a fan of this Gohan that much. Um, it is nice that he is a key support, given his bat, his, his link set is, like, horrible. Like, it's actually bad, but he's still giving three key to all allies. He's giving 58% defense, which is, that's nice on some teams, but I do think that's one of the main drawbacks to him, is that he's mainly going to be ran on hybrid sands, and hybrid sands is, like, all defense right now. Like, every unit on their stacks, like, Tech Ultimate Gohan, STR Trunks, AGL, LR Gohan, um, the GT banner units, they both have good defense. Like, this Gohan did not need to give defense. Personally, if he would have gave attack, honestly, instead of defense, I think he would be a lot better. Um, his damage numbers are also pretty bad, honestly, in comparison to, like, these four. Or, honestly, anybody on this list. Like, his damage is just bad compared to, like, this guy's doing, like, on a normal team, this guy's doing, like, 2 mil compared to this guy who's doing 4 mil, super effective. This guy who's shooting out 6.1 mil unsupported. Videl, who's doing, uh, like, <laughs> globs of damage, also unsupported. Like, I don't know. Kid Gohan, his damage was just a miss. But overall, he's still a good unit. He has a lot of utility in his defense stacking and his active skill, which is pretty nice. And then number 15. This might also rile a lot of people up. Uh, we have our boy Pycon. Now, Pycon, unlike his counterpart, this bum right here, um, has a lot of utility. Uh, he's great everywhere. In long events, you can use his active skill. to. It's basically a free Ghost Usher. Um, in short events, like Super Battle Rope, this guy, he can dodge. He, can, he greatly lowers attack, which is so nice. It's almost like giving damage reduction to the entire rotation on that one specific enemy that he hits, which is really nice. He also seals. Um, his damage can be okay if you have a Goku on the team, an Angel Goku in specific, because uh, that makes him super effective. Um, he auto supers because of his key mechanic, and you need to only pick up one Rainbow Orb. Uh, he needs three type orbs for his support. Which is not, it's really not that hard to get, honestly, on his teams. Um, this, like, if you have this Python and, like, your box is not that great, like, if you take him in the Super Battle Road, and I promise you, this Python will actually just carry you. He will single handedly carry the team. Like, um, I was running Saviors in the God of it, and honestly, without Python, Saviors is literally, like, it can't, I can't super without Python. Like, Pycon kind of glued together the entire team. Um, that is why I have him at number 15, personally. Um, which leads me into my next discussion. Uh, Tech Ultimate Gohan. I do have him above Tech Ultimate Gohan because I do think he is a little bit more of a team player than Tech Ultimate Gohan. Tech Ultimate Gohan is still good. He's not bad. Um, his damage, just like Kid, Ultim uh, Kid Gohan, is a lot to be desired, but 
Still, he's still a defensive wall. Like, there's not a lot of things that can hurt Gohan after that first super that he does. Um, he's great in long events. When he's transformed, his damage gets, like, way better. He can still do pretty competitive numbers to them when he's transformed, which is fine. The only real flaw with this Gohan is, like, the, like Kid Gohan, is uh, his damage is not that great. And his link set is very wonky and leaves a lot to be desired. He can harm the team because of his link set. Like, he can also harm himself if he's not able to super, since he gets a lot of his defense from super. But um, overall, this unit is, I mean, he's still a very valuable unit, for sure. And then at number 17, we have these guys. Um, I'm just going to put them all here. Number 17, we have the Bio Broly Trio. Each and every one, Goten and Trunks are pretty much the same unit, almost. Um, they have a 50% raise for six turns. And whenever they have each other, like for Trunks and Goten, it's if they have, if they're on the same rotation next to each other, or if 18 is on the team, they get 18% damage reduction. Uh, they give 18% support, and they get an 18% chance to crit. Like they, these guys are doing like five mil attack sets next to each other with like, like 200k defense turn one oh damage reduction by the way like these these guys uh, they definitely deserve to be on this list i think um they like there's not a lot of stuff that can hurt them i took goten into the god event um he ate a super from beerus for like 150k now that seems like a lot but just keep in mind uh, he's on here somewhere um where is he where is he this guy, the best unit in the game, AGL UI, post dodge, he takes 250k from Beers. And this guy took 150k. So just keep that, that tells you how defensively good he is. Uh, 18 is the same thing. She, her damage is not nearly as good as these two, but her defense is about the same. And she's also giving three key and 30% attack and defense to the entire rotation. So these three, I would argue, are all, they fight for the number 17th slot. Um, I feel pretty comfortable in putting them there. All right. And then for number 18, SCR Cooler. All right. This guy came out in 2019, and he's still this high. Like, it's so ridiculous how good this cooler is a lot of people are under the assumption cooler is bad defensively that's not true um i will say if you're not running him next to like another freezing unit or a big bad boss's unit his defense is not that good even like even transformed is not but if you're running this cooler on like his proper team like terrifying conquerors space traveling warriors stuff like that this guy's defense and base he's sitting at like 200k defense and he's supporting and He's lowering attack, and uh, when he transformed, like, honestly, uh, when he transforms against Pure Sands, his damage matches these guys for free. Like, that's not a joke. He's doing, like, four mil guaranteed crits, and he's he has the chance of triple super. Like, his damage matches this guy. Like, his damage matches Super Vegeta, and Super Vegeta literally just came out. This guy's from 2019, by the way. And, so, uh, Cooler is definitely, he definitely has a solid spot on this list. Without, I have no problem saying that at all. Um, for number 19, we have, let's see, uh, Tech Hit. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, for number 19, we have, where is he? Where is he? He's somewhere here. Bojack. Um, I think Bojack, Bojack is saying idea as cooler kind of but what is honestly just a worse version of cooler like he's better defensively than super cooler for sure like way better but his transform state is not nearly as good as coolers it's just not uh i don't know if that's like links or like damage uh also yeah his damage is not as good as cooler it's not even close he's just a better cooler defensively that's about it um they're almost the same unit but bojack's still really good like, don't get it twisted. He's still, a, he's pretty, makes a decent floater on all these villain teams because they're all in space traveling warriors and stuff like that. So, 
Yeah, just because Cooler is worse than, or uh, Bojack's worse than Cooler, don't get it twisted. Bojack is still a pretty nasty boy. And then finally, for the number 20, um, T-U-R, we have, uh, let's see, who do I want to put here? Honestly, I'm going to go with, uh, Ain't Go Tanks. Um, now this might be a little bit, maybe this is biased speaking because Gotenks is my favorite character, but in Gotenks to this day, his base form is garbage. I'm not even going to talk about that. His base form is not that good, but when he goes super sand, this guy has a 70% chance to stun. He can triple super and he raises his defense for 50, uh, by 50% for, for the turn. Um, his damage is honestly good. Like, if you get a turn where this guy double supers with all his, uh, because he has a chance to proc, like, attack and defense on his passive. If you get a chance, if you get a turn where this guy double supers in Super Saiyan 3, if you have him rainbowed, he's doing, like, a total of, like, 6 or 7 mil damage or something like that. With a, high, a great chance to stun. And, again, he's raising his defense by 50% every super. And then when he goes to Super Saiyan 3 go tanks, which, is, honestly, it's, it's kind of hard to get that nowadays. You have to go to turn seven, and there's an HP condition, which is just bad. But Super Saiyan three Go Tanks, if he was Super Saiyan three turn one, he'd be like up here, honestly. Because Super Saiyan three Go Tanks is also he's doing triple supers, five mil per super, raising his defense by fifty percent for three turns, not just one, but three. So yeah, if he was transformed turn one, he would definitely be all the way up here. Now, I do have honorable mentions right here. Um, physical go tanks is definitely an honorable mission. This guy is, I mean, his damage, he does more damage than this guy. Well, if you get his 11 key, he actually does more damage than him. Um, he doesn't make rainbow orbs, so he doesn't have as much utility. And he's a little bit worse defensively, but he's still rocking like 160k defense, and he has a 30% chance to dodge. So that's pretty cool. Uh, he's not that good in long events, though. But everywhere else, he's still good. He deserves to be an honorable mission on this list for sure. Um, then we have Int Final Form Frieza. Um, this, I know this guy is free to play, but he like he's insane. Like against a Goku family enemy, he takes no damage and he supports the entire rotation and he lowers attack. Every difficult content you can take him in, I would I would do so. All his super battle roll stages have Goku family enemies. Long events, they're all Goku family enemies right now, except for the Vegeta event. Um even in the God of it, if you take him type advantage, that means he will have his guard active all the time. So he'll automatically get the 50% damage reduction, which is pretty good. He can be a good, like, sixth or seventh option in the God of it. But uh, overall, this freeze is just, like, he doesn't take damage and he's supporting. That's, like, the ideal for a support unit. Um, These two, definitely honorable missions. Um, Vegeta, especially. Vegeta's damage is pretty good he's super effective when he transforms he guards honestly this guy when he's Majin Vegeta transform turn one he has more defense than tech ultimate go on like he actually does if you get those six orbs of course that's the only issue with them is they need six orbs to bring out their full potential uh Goku he does pretty good damage when he gets six orbs he gets a high chance to dodge uh when Majin Vegeta does he gets the guard um they're both super effective with three if I'm not mistaken well, no, Goku's super effective with six. Uh, Vegeta's super effective with uh, three. So, yeah, their damage is pretty good. They're good defensively. There's not much to say about that. Um, and then Yardrak Goku as well. This guy, I mean, he's countering and doing good damage. You build him full crit, take him type disadvantage to the God event. He, he can't take damage. This guy takes double digit type disadvantage in the God event. The God event of all places. And he's just a free-to-play unit. Like, he... Honestly... I don't know what they were thinking when they made him. He's just way too insane. Um, Again, his damage is pretty good with his counters. He literally cannot be hurt by normals. And, uh, yeah, I do think he's a pretty good desire, uh, honorable mention on here. But, um... That would be the end of this video. Uh, 
this is my list right here again this is all my personal opinion i am not stating it as a fact i just think that's this is how like the meta is uh you can definitely switch some of these around like angel frieza you can easily put him here like there's no problem with that um if you want to you can put videl above vegeta it doesn't really matter um like she has arguments for being number one i would argue even these two have arguments for being number one like so a lot of this glitch is very interchangeable but um yeah like i said this is my personal opinion and uh hope you guys enjoy the video and i will see you in the next one